humanity has gone, you know, from a very long way. From the invention of fire to the very first moon landing, we've done a lot of good shit. Some incredible shit that no animal has ever, that could ever do. And you know, you think that with evolution, people become better, become more mature as they age. It turns out that I think we can safely say that humanity is finally going to evolve backwards to the point where we're nothing more than mere spoiled children. This clip that I'm about to show you is absolute proof that humanity is right now being fucked in the ass thanks to these people. Alright, so basically what I was saying earlier, we had somebody that was offended by the gestures you, you were making, and that's our job is to make sure that that doesn't happen because these, these are students that's walking in this mall like right mm -hmm. here. I know you're not on campus, uh -huh. but you're right, you're right off campus offending students on, on, uh -huh. on, on the campus. Okay, first of all, this idea that, you know, being charged for offending someone is absolutely ridiculous if you feel offended fine it doesn't matter if you're offended by me or someone on the streets <clears throat> but they shouldn't be penalized just because you personally feel offended by someone second of all the guy isn't even near campus I mean I mean yeah he's near campus but not on campus so why the fuck should you care, you know, if someone says something inappropriate? He's not directly saying it towards you. He's just saying certain words that you might not agree with. But let, let's just keep going. Maybe there's some kind of rationality in this. Maybe. Uh -huh. So the job here is to write you up as a citation, disorderly conduct, uh -huh. for offending someone. Uh, does freedom of speech protect offensive speech? Does freedom of speech do what? Uh, protect offensive speech. It doesn't matter freedom of speech. Someone was offended. That's against the law. That is absolutely right. Your ears did not deceive you. If someone feels offended of what you're saying, they have the right to call the authorities and give you a fucking ticket. Which means that anything, any word, the next word that's about to come out of my mouth, some, someone is going to feel offended. I can say I disagree with your opinion and someone out there will be like, Oh my god, someone says I disagree, I'm triggered, call the cops, call the authorities, call the navy, call the army. I mean, how did humanity get this I don't want to argue with you. Okay. It's against the law. Okay. So, I'm, I'm sorry, can I'm, you say I'm, that again? It's against, against the law to offend yeah. somebody? Yes. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. What are the words that were offensive? I told you the words earlier. I said that you use anus. I said that you were offending the sorority. Well, that girl. could be a biological like, okay. class, it, right? It's fine. Well, anus is a bias. That's also a biological word. So, so would you be... Well, well, just work with me like I'm working okay. with you. Can okay. I get your ID? I'm please? happy to work with you. And I thank you. Oh, no! Anus! He said anus! Run for your fucking life! <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Anus! You're offended by the word anus! Oh! <sighs> This guy is being charged for offending someone by saying the word anus. It's, it's not like he's using anus as an insult to someone. 
No, no, no. He just said the word anus. And someone happened to overhear him and they got offended. Let me tell you something. If you get offended by the word anus, in my opinion, you don't deserve to breathe oxygen. You are a waste of people's time and money. You'd be better off buried 10 feet underground. Because, holy shit, if the word anus is enough to offend you, I can't imagine you going out in the field, having a job. You know, you're going to face a lot of people that are going to be mean to you for no absolute reason. They're going to say anus, penis, vagina, uh, let me see, what else? Fuck, shit, asshole. This is just some of the examples. And if that's enough to put you into some sort of frenzy, then there's just no hope for you. Like, you're just not fit for this planet. And yet, the government is allowing this. First, we have New York City. You know, this is where I live, by the way. I live somewhere around New York. I'm not going to exactly say where, because then I'll be doxing myself. But, let's just say around New York City, Manhattan. You can be fined over $150,000 if you misgender someone. Usually a transgender person. That is more than... That's pretty much your livestock right there. You you misgender someone, there, it's gone. It's it's gone. All your money's gone. You're fucked. <laughs> and you know, you want to know what's like the fine for owning an illegal gun? Somewhere around maybe seven thousand. Somewhere like maybe seven hundred to seven thousand dollars. Something that can kill someone? No, this is ridiculous. There shouldn't be a fine at all if you happen to misgender someone. And now we have this. Getting a fine for offending someone. We're living in the age where people's feelings are now being protected by law. This is some insane bullshit. And let's just say that this is reinforced by, you know, all 50 states. 51 if you count Puerto Rico. Just imagine the amount of fear people have for offending someone. The next word that you say could actually hurt someone's feelings and you can get a fine for it. If not, even worse, go to jail. This is the death of freedom of speech. And quite frankly, this th this is just terrible. You know Miss Misanthropus, you know, she's a good friend of mine. And you know what? She hates humanity. And she has some legit reasons. I, I also hate humanity as well. I, I hated humanity back at 8th grade. When I was nothing more than a, you know, a, a mere toy for everyone else. You know, if I'm not solving math problems, I'm out there dancing like a fucking buffoon. And this just reinforces my hatred of humanity. Because when we look back in the past, you look at all the achievements that we have made as humans. 
And now that we look at today, we're pretty much the laughing stock of humanity's achievements right now. Sure, gay marriage has been legalized about a year ago. And, you know, a man who was wearing an inappropriate shirt, you know, landed a probe on some some comet. I forgot the details. <clears throat> but, you know, this is pretty much humanity's lowest point. If aliens existed and they were looking, you know, through a fucking telescope, a super powerful telescope, that, you know, that sees humanity history, and they're seeing us right now, they're laughing at <coughs> Excuse me. They're laughing at us. They're pretty much just saying, look at these pathetic humans. They're offended by simple words. You know, if aliens were to come to invade our planet, then I say, hey, aliens, welcome to Earth. So, to Miss Misanthropist, yeah, I don't blame you for hating humanity. Let's hate humanity together. So, the rest of the video can be seen in the link down in the description. You can check it out and, you know, feel whatever you want to feel. I won't stop you. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.